Hiker Jay here. This week I'm going to be talking about a dry bag. Not just a dry bag, a dry bag backpack. It's a 30 liter backpack that the folks from Super Singularity sent to me probably about two or three months ago to test and put through the rigors. I've had it in mud, rain, river, all those types of things. So I'm going to tell you about uh, what I think about it and how it's held up, especially this cool little valve system and different things, features that it has. Additionally, they make regular old dry bags and I have a story on this one and it's a pretty good one. You're going to stick around to hear about it. I have books in here from the river this weekend and we put this bad boy to the test. But first, let's get into the Super Singularity Tech Tight 30 liter backpack. If this is the first time to my channel, if you would hit subscribe, that'd be awesome, or check out some of my other social media links as well. I put out new videos every Thursday on outdoor camping type gear and love to have you come along for the ride. Now, let's talk about this 30 liter backpack, waterproof backpack. Now I have, it's really dirty and muddy, sorry about that, I haven't washed it up. We just had it on the river uh, with a youth group and I had the kids really test it out. Um, had my nephew float with it and my son swim across the river and do all those types of things and open it up to see if it would actually work. So let's, let's talk about the features first. Uh, Super Singularity went with a 30 liter because they wanted something that where you could put a uh, sleeping bag in the bottom and extra gear as well. I think that was really smart because a lot of these you'll see where they're like a, you can get like a 20 liter or a um, 10 liter, but 30 liter I think is a really good size, especially when you're thinking about a backpack that you're gonna, you're gonna canoe along, ca ca um, kayak along, but then you're gonna wanna throw it on your back. From the standpoint of the backpack, it's just these basic straps that can unclip um, and they're very and they're completely adjustable. Uh, and I gotta say, you'd think that they'd be uncomfortable, but they're not. They work really great. They fit to your back as a backpack really nicely because when you roll the top, it conforms in a way that it it forms the back to fit to your backpack your your form of your back really nicely. So I found as a backpack, it's really nice. I've taken it out on my property uh, and done some things, taking gear out there that I was gonna do video reviews on and that type of stuff, and works really nice as a backpack itself. Um, and of course, if it's raining and all those type of things, it would keep it dry. Now, let's talk about a couple of the other features. It has these D-rings right here and in a nice handle. I really like this handle from the standpoint of just grabbing it and throwing it in the vehicle or grabbing it out of the canoe, that type of thing. But these D-rings are also especially great because um, I, I have clipped water bottles on the outside and all different types of stuff, carabiners, that type of thing, and holds really nice. I did it, I, I'd, I'd put like, um, large water bottles on here to see if it would tear and pull as I was hiking and everything, but it's held up just great. Um, no problem um, from that standpoint of tearing away. They have double layered it and, and put an extra support in there too. So um, built really rugged tough. That's one thing about this thing is that it is incredibly rugged and tough. I dragged it across the ground for a while, um, pushed on it, crushed on it, all those types of things. Um, and I have yet to get a seal break or anything like that in it. Um, now let's talk about the top. The top here, what they've done is they've um, obviously have your roll top that most dry bags do, um, but they've also put kind of a stay on the inside, like a like a flexible stay. And I like that because what happens is once you give it a couple rolls and then fold it in, uh, it keeps that kind of shape, that this U shape right here. And that's really what I found seals it from getting letting water get in. If it was straight out and folded uh, and it didn't have like this, this, this kind of stay holding that way. It could sit and it could flex and it could let water in like, like that. Um, so I kind of like that it has that bowed stay in there to really, really keep the extra water out. As well as it's kind of just a clip. So I've clipped this and hung it on things like a tree, um, for certainly in a canoe across the, the crossbar so that if it flips or whatever, it stays with the canoe, that type of thing. Um, these anchor points for the shoulder strap, I should talk about these uh, D-rings. Um, they work great. You do have to roll it in a certain way so that it faces out like I have it right now. If you're on the this roll right here, um, it puts the clips on the inside. So that's something that you'll just, you'll see and you'll know that you have to do, that you have to roll it correctly so that the D-rings are on the outside for the um, shoulder uh, straps as well. You can also, what I like is that these are detachable, so you can just do one, so you can sling it over your shoulder and carry it somewhere if you're not gonna use it as a, as a backpack proper. The last feature that is my favorite is this, this double valve. So um, what's great about this is once you put your gear into it, um, you can open it up like so as you're doing that, and it's a, a wide open, so it can let all the air out and get it as small as you want it. But this is a check valve here. So if you want to put air in it, give me one second, 
makes a really awkward, weird noise when you blow it up, but here you go. So then you can blow it up, and then it gives its buoyancy. I did this with my nephew and had him just float around in the river for a while. Um, and that's pretty cool because if you don't clip it into your gear or you have it somewhere where it can flip out, it'll still float down the river and not sink. So that double, um, that double two-way valve is, is a really great uh, feature and probably one of my favorite. Before I give you my final thoughts on this one here, I do have to say that Super Singularity also sent me some of these just regular dry bags for backpacking. And my wife put three or four books in here like this and she took them on the canoe trip. And she took and she clipped this right to the front handle of the canoe. So it was just hanging in the front. Um, but we got into a situation where my wife and my son, they, they got against a really large oak that was down and the current was pretty strong. They hopped out, then the canoe flipped. And by the time I got to them, the canoe was actually uh, open towards the current and it was pinned up against the uh the oak tree so we got a couple people on it to roll it to its to its round side and when we did that this was hanging on the front corner and then it just torqued all over that oak tree when when we flipped it and i looked over and i was like that bag's gonna pop there's no way it's gonna handle it because then we had to like lift it and, and actually like get all the water out of the canoe and at the same time this thing's just like grinding against the actual tree um and then we hung it over and then we flipped it over so that it was sitting and this thing flopped back and came back and this thing totally held up totally air air pressure still sealed um it's got a couple scars on it but um i was impressed with these dry bags how how strong they are and what it took because um it was really torqued around that tree you can see kind of like i don't know if it's going to show up but there's some scrapes on here from the tree from the corners of the books um but it held up really really well so they also also offer these. I did a review on this one. You can check it out up below, up at top here on the card. You can click and check out because they do like three different sizes, like five liter, um, ten liter, and twenty liter, um, and they just work great. I was pretty happy with it. Mine, I used the five liter on the canoe trip and had like my cell phone in there and that type of stuff that I didn't want to get wet. But I did have to just talk about how awesome this bag is and how well it held up to a serious stress test. So now my final thoughts on this 30 liter uh, dry bag backpack is that you should get one. They're awesome. Uh, the quality is right up there with a company that you might be well more versed in like Outdoor Research, Sea to Summit, those types of things. Super Singularity did not really, did, they didn't scrimp on materials and they did their homework when they built these things. So even this, this 30 liter um, dry bag, when you look on Amazon, you can check my affiliate link down below. Um, look at the reviews. People love it. And it's so much that it's become an Amazon choice dry bag, um, which tells you that this company is pretty young, but they've done a really nice job in the quality that they've done in the seam sealing and all the different pieces that they've done. So I, I'm really happy with it. You should grab one. It's a great one for your, uh, your gear arsenal. And it's something that I will be using regularly um, out in the wilderness. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Till next time, just remember, life's a hike, so hike happy. With the dry bag. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the video. If you're new to my channel, if you hit subscribe, that'd be awesome. I put out new videos every Thursday around outdoor gear. And if you'd like to support me, you can check out my merchandise. I have my Hike Happy shirt on here uh, at my store. You can click that down below and check out the other apparel that I have. Till next Thursday, just go ahead and watch some of my other videos.